day, it's Verity here from the creative team and welcome back to the Wow Embossing Powder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you two cards where we're going to be layering our heat embossing using the Hope and Positivity powder with two other contrasting powders to go with it. We're going to be creating some fun alternative Christmas cards using a selection of the Wow Embossing Powder products, so let's get started. So as I said, I'm going to be using three powders today. Mainly is the Hope and Positivity, which is a speciality powder that was created as a charity powder. Some of the profits from this sale of this powder does go to a charity and you can read up more about this on the website. So this powder has a mix of pinks, purples, some teal in there, some black, some glitter. It is a beautiful, beautiful blend. Now I'm going to pair it with two contrasting colour powders. One of them is Black Twinkle, which is a black powder with some beautiful silver glitter in there. And then I'm going to pair it with Powdered Snow, which is a beautiful white powder with some glitter in there. So all of these are embossing glitters because they have embossing powder as well as glitter in it. So when I was watching the recent demos that what Marion did on the craft store for white embossing powder, I picked up another tip from the guru Marion, of course. And one of those tips was to use a brayer to transfer your ink onto a card panel to get an even amount of ink over there and also it doesn't waste as much ink compared to if you smushed your ink pad down onto the actual cardstock. When I did this and then I covered it with the powder I got such a better even consistency of powder and I even felt like I didn't need to create a second layer of embossing powder over the top to cover up any patchiness or inconsistencies with the powder. So I really recommend doing this if you have a brayer to hand. Obviously, if you don't have one to hand, you can simply use the ink smushing technique instead. So once I've covered all my ink, I'm then going to cover this with the powdered snow embossing glitter. So this powder comes from the trio Winter Dreams, which was inspired by Martina, who's on the design team. This is the white embossing glitter that comes in that trio. I'm just covering my whole panel with that embossing glitter. And then I'm heat setting it with my dual speed heat gun. Because this is embossing glitter, it is better if you heat set from behind. This allows the heat to transfer through the card, melt the embossing powder on the other side and trap that glitter in it. You can heat from the other side, however you may find some of your glitter will blow off in the process before the powder has got a chance to melt. So to get your full shine and glitter, make sure you heat set from behind. I had to keep changing the light settings on my camera because of the glitter. It's so bright, it shines so much that it was just oversaturating the camera. But as you can see, there is a beautiful white glitter and it is such a fine glitter that it's just so much sparkle in it. So I've repeated the process again with covering my card panel in embossing ink using my brayer and then I'm using the second powder that I plan to use today. This is the black twinkle. So this is the opposite to the powder snow. This is black powder with silver glitter in it. Again, I'm just heat setting that from behind. And as you can see, this really transforms as you heat set it from what looks more like a gray powder to a beautiful black powder. So here they are side by side and you can just see all that shine. It's so hard to capture on camera, but there is an abundance of glitter on these cards. So for the first card, I'm going to use my new Folk Art Snowflake stamp to create and layer some embossing powder. And I am just positioned my powdered snow embossed panel in my Misty. And I'm having to use quite a few magnets to keep it in place because it has warped a little bit, but we'll fix that warping later on. And I am just covering my stamp with some embossing ink. Now I have prepped this card panel with some um, anti-static powder just because I have handled this panel a lot and I know I would have got my fingers all over it. So I've just prepped it with some powder in the hope that I will get rid of any of that stickiness. I'm then stamping it down and I'm getting a really good impression and I do stamp this a couple of times because the glitter creates quite a textured surface. You will want to stamp it a few times to ensure you get a good consistency. Even after stamping it a couple of times, I did when you see when I cover it with some powder, I got a little bit of patchiness, which we're going to fix. So I'm covering this with the Hope and Positivity Embossing Glitter. As I mentioned, some of the profits from this powder do go towards a charity and if you're interested in knowing more, there are details over on the website. This contrasts with that beautiful white background really, really well. 
and it gives that beautiful, soft, serene look to this Christmas card. Now, as I said, when I was heat setting this, once I covered this with powder, there was a few areas where some of my snowflakes didn't stamp so well. Now, I could have placed this back into my misty, but I didn't want to because I was worried that I would not line it up correctly. Instead, I use my embossing pen from Wild Embossing Powder just to fill in some of the patches of the snowflakes, particularly this one here that was missing a bit of the middle. It's really, really easy to do. You can, you can easily colour this in. Roughly, you have an idea of what the snowflake looks like from the other snowflakes. And if it's not perfect, it's fine. Most snowflakes aren't the same. The snowflakes on here are all the same, and that doesn't really happen in real life. So it's not a problem if they don't match on the actual stamp. Once I've added the embossing ink, I can then cover it with the embossing powder and keep going in and just filling any areas that I think need a little bit more embossing glitter on it. Just add a bit of the ink and then cover with the glitter. Once heat set, which is really, really quick to do because you've heat set most of the panel, it doesn't take very long to do those few little bits, you will get a beautiful finished design. And that contrast between the white and the hope and positivity looks stunning. So for the Hour of a Card panel, I'm going to use my Snowflake stencil and I'm going to use my Make Art Station to keep this stencil in place over that card panel. Then I'm using a sponge tool and just pressing this into my embossing ink and then I'm pouncing this down over the stencil to transfer the ink. Now I realised once I started doing this, uh, I didn't check which side of the stencil I'd used. If I hadn't cleaned it properly, there could have been embossing ink on the other side. I also didn't prep my panel either with any anti-static powder. And once I removed the stencil and covered with the Hope and Positivity powder, there were a few areas where my stencil design wasn't clean. And I think that was because I might have had some embossing ink on the reverse of the stencil when I was applying it, because I hadn't cleaned it. So always clean these stencils is my advice. So again, I'm just heat setting this. And as you can see, this color really pops off that black background. And it creates a really fun and alternative look to your Christmas cards. It's not one you'd normally see. And I think it's just a great different way to create and expand your supplies. Now to turn these into cards, I have used some of the Christmas sentiment stamp sets from Wow Embossing Powder that I have designed. And I use It's the Season and Merry Sentiments. And I like to just take them out of the packaging, place them on the card and just have a look about and see whether the arrangement looks right, whether it's the right sentiment or not. Now I stamped these in silver fine embossing powder, except from the Merry, which I also did in the Hope and Positivity, just to pop off the card. I trimmed them down and foam mounted them onto the card base. Because of all that glitter, there didn't need to be any embellishments on this card. It has all that beautiful, beautiful sparkle and shine. Let me know in the comments below which one out of these two cards is your favourite. I'd love to know. And what do you think of the Hope and Positivity powder? Isn't it just stunning? For more information, you can check out the blog and any of the products you're interested in today are linked in the description box below. If you're new to the channel, why not think about subscribing? You can hit that bell icon to be notified when the next video is up. And until next time, happy crafting.